Once upon a time, in a world veiled by lush greenery and echoing with the cries of exotic creatures, there existed a jungle so dense and mysterious that it concealed secrets untold. This was the Forbidden Jungle, a realm where few dared to venture, and those who did often vanished without a trace. Deep within this enigmatic expanse of verdant foliage lay a hidden oasis, whispered about in hushed tones by the tribes dwelling on the jungle's fringes. Legend spoke of its mesmerizing beauty, its waters said to possess healing properties capable of mending wounds and mending hearts. Yet, tales also warned of the perils that guarded this sanctuary, of ancient curses and formidable guardians that jealously protected its secrets from prying eyes. Amidst the canopy of emerald leaves and the chorus of unseen wildlife, there came a lone figure, a young adventurer by the name of Aden. With a heart brimming with curiosity and a thirst for discovery, he had journeyed far from his home in search of the elusive oasis, driven by the tantalizing whispers that had reached his ears. Aiden's footsteps echoed softly against the damp earth as he navigated the labyrinthine paths of the Forbidden Jungle. He had heard stories of its dangers, the venomous serpents that slithered through the undergrowth, the prowling predators that stalked the shadows, and the treacherous swamps that swallowed the unwary hole, yet undeterred by the warnings. He pressed on, his resolve unyielding, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows that danced amidst the foliage. Aiden's journey brought him to the edge of a vast clearing. Before him stretched a shimmering expanse of water, its surface rippling with the gentle caress of the evening breeze. This, he knew, was the fabled oasis he had sought, with cautious steps. Aiden approached the water's edge, his eyes widening in wonder at the sight before him. The oasis was a paradise and touched by the passage of time, its shores lined with vibrant flora and fauna unseen elsewhere in the jungle. Exotic blooms perfumed the air with their sweet fragrance, while colorful birds flitted amongst the branches overhead, drawn by an irresistible urge. Aiden dipped his hand into the cool waters of the oasis, feeling its soothing embrace wash over him like a gentle tide. In that moment, all thoughts of the perils that lurked within the jungle faded away, replaced by a sense of tranquility that he had never known. But as Aidan reveled in the oasis's beauty, a shadow fell across the water, stirring him from his reverie. With a start, he turned to see a figure emerging from the depths of the jungle, its form obscured by the fading light of dusk. As the figure drew closer, Aidan's heart quickened with both fear and fascination. Before him stood a woman unlike any he had ever seen. Her skin bronzed by the sun and her eyes alight with an otherworldly glow. She moved with a grace that seemed to defy gravity. Her every movement fluid and effortless. Who are you? Aiden asked. His voice barely above a whisper. The woman smiled, her lips curving into a knowing smile. I am Alara, guardian of this oasis. She replied, her voice a melodic echo that seemed to resonate within Aiden's soul. Aiden's mind raced with questions, but before he could speak, Alara raised a hand, silencing him with a gesture. You have come seeking the secrets of the oasis, she said, her eyes searching his own with an intensity that sent shivers down his spine. But know this, the knowledge you seek comes at a price, Aiden hesitated, uncertainty gnawing at the edges of his resolve, but deep within him, a fierce determination burned bright driving him forward despite the doubts that lingered in his mind. I am willing to pay whatever price is required, he declared, his voice ringing with conviction. Alera's smile widened, her eyes sparkling with approval. Very well, she said, her tone carrying the weight of ages past. But heed my words, young adventurer, for the path ahead is fraught with peril. Only those who possess a heart pure of intent may unlock the oasis's true power. With those cryptic words, Alara turned and beckoned for Aiden to follow, leading him deeper into the heart of the oasis. Together, they ventured through winding pathways and hidden glades, each step bringing them closer to the secrets that lay buried beneath the surface. 
As they journeyed, Alara shared tales of the oasis's origins, recounting the ancient legends passed down through generations. She spoke of a time when the world was young and the gods walked amongst mortals, weaving tales of love and betrayal that had shaped the fate of the land. But amidst the stories of gods and heroes, there whispered darker truths of a forbidden love that had sparked a war between the heavens and the earth of an ancient curse that had condemned the oasis to eternal solitude. And at the heart of it all lay a choice, a choice that would determine the fate of not just the oasis, but all who dwelled within its embrace. As they reached the heart of the oasis, Aiden's senses were assailed by a symphony of sights and sounds unlike any he had ever experienced. In the center of a lush clearing stood a towering tree, its branches reaching towards the heavens like outstretched arms. Beneath its boughs lay a pool of shimmering water, its surface aglow with an ethereal light. This is the Well of Souls, Alara explained, her voice hushed with reverence. It is said that those who drink from its waters are granted the gift of eternal life, but at a cost. For every soul that partakes of its power, another must be sacrificed in return. Aiden's breath caught in his throat as he gazed upon the well, its depths calling out to him with an irresistible allure. He could feel the weight of Alara's words pressing down upon him. The gravity of the choice that lay before him. Will you drink from the well, Aiden? Alara asked, her voice gentle yet imploring. For a moment, Aiden hesitated. Torn between the promise of immortality and the knowledge of the sacrifices it demanded. But as he looked into Alara's eyes, he knew what he must do, I cannot. He replied, his voice steady despite the turmoil within his heart. To take such a gift for myself would be to condemn another to an eternity of darkness. I cannot bear that burden. Alara's smile was filled with pride as she reached out and placed a hand upon Aiden's shoulder. You have chosen wisely, young adventurer, she said, her voice tinged with sadness. But know that your journey does not end here. There are other paths to immortality, ones that do not require the sacrifice of others with those words. Alara led Aiden away from the well, guiding him back to the edge of the oasis where his journey had begun. As they parted ways, Aiden felt a sense of peace settle over him, knowing that he had made the right choice. As he made his way out of the forbidden jungle, Aiden carried with him not just memories of his adventure, 